Good afternoon everyone and a very warm welcome to the Year 6 graduation. Congratulations to our Year 6s, you've made it. You are soon about to start one of the most exciting times of your lives because over the next six years you'll get to choose more of how your life is going to turn out. You'll choose more of what subjects you want to study, what sports you'll pursue and what kind of friends you want to have. You'll choose what you do after you finish school and what person you want to be. If there's one piece of advice that I could super glue to every one of you for the next six years, it would be to protect your good name and your reputation. It's a slow process to build your reputation up, but it can be lost in a moment. I therefore urge you to be constantly aware of your own dignity and precious individuality. Protect your name and your reputation as you would your most prized possession. A good name will open up many doors for you, not only while you're at school, but also beyond. A poor reputation will haunt you and restrict you in many ways that you might never be aware of until the damage is done. That is particularly now so with social media and its capacity to record posterity every foolish decision you might make. Right from the beginning of year seven, Start about perf purposefully building up a good reputation with your family, your classmates, with your teachers and other significant people in the community. How do you do that? You make small choices every day that are investing in yourself and your future. Choose to work hard. Whatever way you put those two words together, work hard or hard work, the message is always the same. Nothing of value will come without it. I always tell my class that everything works out for hard workers. Choose to listen. You have two ears and one mouth for a reason. Use your ears twice as much as your mouth and you'll be surprised at how much you learn. Choose to be kind. Kindness costs nothing and it's what people will remember the most. Winston Churchill said, you can make a living from what you get, but you'll make a life from what you give. Being kind is the best reputation to have and far outlives any short-term fame based on appearances or achievement. Choose passion, do what interests you. You'll be making important choices over the next few years. Eventually find what you love to do and pour yourself into it. You'll be at your best when you're happy, when you true, uh, feel true joy. Do what you love and make it your passion. Choose to be yourself, you were made to be different. That is one of the greatest gifts that you can bring to the world. And we all have something that the world needs. Choose, choose growth. Surround yourself with bright and positive people. Be open, be inquisitive. There's a saying, if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. It is also a time for our parents to ask themselves the very big questions about whether they are ready to cope with your transition ahead. Instead of being implored to let go, of your child and take a step back, I want to deter you from that prevailing mindset and say that it is a time to hold on and step up your parenting. Adolescents need active and courageous parent more than any other previous stage. I encourage you to remain profoundly interested in your child's friends, especially their online friends. Engage actively with their learning and remain firm in the modeling of your values and ethics to your son and daughter. Nurturing and modelling are your great parental privileges. Used well, they will enrich your life just as much as your child's. In conclusion, please let me thank each of our students for the great life and leadership that you've provided to the primary school community this year. You are a talented and compassionate group of young people with very bright futures ahead of you. You are just as our maker God would describe you, unique and precious. Enjoy your celebrations this afternoon, Year 6, and I'll now call up Mr Mark Vodell to say a few words and open with prayer. I am so glad that this is being recorded because the words that you just heard, you need to hear again. And so you need to listen. And I know at the moment you're all excited, right? But in the quietness of your own time, you need to listen to those words again 
and just take them on board because there were some really powerful messages that were shared with you um, by Mrs. By Miss Muller. And uh, I can just simply say ditto, or I would like to echo what she said. This afternoon, we've got two prayers. I get to say the first one. The second one is about food, all right? Not that we need to pray that the food is okay. I can assure you that the food is, is going to be very yummy. But I get to pray about something else. I get to pray about you and our program here and invite God to be one of our number. So why don't you just close your eyes, bow your heads, and let's just talk to the Creator God. Dear Heavenly Father, we want to say thank you. It's been an amazing year both good and bad. We have endured, we have struggled, we have overcome. And right now, we will think about our Year 6 students and the challenges that they have faced and that they are a little tougher, a little stronger and a little more resilient because they've got a few more skills. They've got another string to their bow. They've spent time with remote learning and although most of us don't like it, Lord, we learn something new along the way. And Lord, it's my prayer that each and every one of our students here today will carry the lessons of constant learning and being able to be that resilient person where they can bounce back from things when they're not quite as we planned. Lord, I also ask that you bless the families that they represent as well and that these students will continue to grow and to develop as they move into the secondary part of their education. And right now we ask that you bless us and be with us as we enjoy this celebration time together. And we pray this all in the precious name of Jesus. And we say, Amen. Amen. Thank you. Welcome Mr. Rodell, Mr. Farquharson, Mrs. Delvin, teachers, education support officers, parents, and our year six graduating class of 2020. We made it. Here we are at the very end of primary school, and what a memorable final year it has been. What an honor and privilege it's been to be the primary school captains for 2020. We have many, many memories that we will take with us and many people to thank. As we reflected on our primary years, some memories really stood out, and here are a few. On our first day of foundation, we were so little entering a big school. We remember feeling excited and nervous, meeting the big kids from year six who became our buddies, getting used to wearing school uniform, including our school hats, which some still struggle with. In year one, we remember having a new teacher, making jelly with chocolate frogs, and going to the Werribee Open Range Zoo where we got to see all the amazing animals. In year two, we remember dressing up as animals and dancing to the song, I Just Can't Wait to Be King, from The Lion King for the primary school concert. We even got a DVD of the performance. Also, Mrs. Goosens gave us class money for doing good work and following the classroom rules. We could buy items from the class shop, like fun stationery items. It was something we really looked forward to. In year three, a highlight was dyeing house sports, and we got to play with all the year threes, which made sport way more fun. We remember the special olden days day at school where teachers pre pretended to be very strict, and some kids even cried. Can you believe we had to memorize a really long passage, which was very hard? In year four, we remember getting an iPad for school. That was exciting and something many of us looked forward to. We also had the Big Day Out event on Sunday where each class performed for our school community and repeated it a few times in, during the afternoon. In year five, we remember our excursions with the most memorable one being to Sovereign Hill. We did bowling, stayed in cabins with our friends, used ink pens, had to line up shortest to tallest to enter the room. We remember the lolly shop, was very colourful and inviting. Our other excursion was Sea Life Aquarium in the city, 
As a celebration event, we had the color run, and the whole back oval was covered in colorful powder, and so were we. This year we were excited and eager for the most awesome year to begin, but little did we know what lay ahead in 2020. Year 6 is always a highlight for many students, and we could not wait for all the wonderful activities, projects, learning, excursions, sporting events, and of course, the Canberra trip and graduation dinner. During Term 1, we create relationships with our teachers and peers. These friendships have grown stronger during the year and have helped shape who we are today. While we were able to see each other face to face, we formed a solid Year 6 class family. Then COVID came and it changed everything. We had to be flexible and adapt to the new changes that followed. Lockdown and remote learning had its ups and downs, and some of us liked it more than others. Staying home was tiresome and the first few weeks of online learning were complicated, but we got used to it. Even though we couldn't be together at school, it was great to see and connect with each other over Zoom. From our virtual Canberra trip to special interviews, video projects, and Zoom breakout groups, we have continued to learn. Although this year has been hectic in many ways, we as a Year 6 cohort have been super resilient through these hard times. This year has been interesting, challenging and testing, and yet we have grown, learned a lot, and come to appreciate the people in our lives. We want to thank our school leaders for leading our school so well, especially during this ch challenging year. We thank our teachers, Ms. Muller, Ms. Hill, Mr. and Mrs. Goosens, who have been through a lot and had a year like no other, having to adapt to massive changes in daily teaching. Thank you for believing in us, supporting us, caring for us, motivating us, and encouraging us when we wanted to give up. You've made a difference in our lives that we will never forget. God bless you. We have learned to count our blessings, to appreciate the small, simple things in life, and not to take things and people for granted. This year, we really did learn to be strong and courageous as we relied on God to help us get through this crazy year. We thank God for preparing us, protecting us, and providing for us exactly what we needed at the right time. What a wonderful thing to know that we did not need to be afraid or discouraged because God is with us wherever we go, no matter what.
I really enjoyed seeing all of the new faces coming in. They all were so happy and positive and just so eager to learn and it brought me so much joy. The nice thing I was looking forward to it was making friends and learning new stuff. Seeing your own growth and seeing you develop into something really, really uh, beautiful. So that's the best part of uh, the connections for me. Um, the bond that me and Mr. Al Gabin had was very strong because we both like soccer. So like we understood each other's pain. Besides when he liked Liverpool, but otherwise it's very good. I want to leave with you this one thing. You have got potential and you've got what it takes. Mrs. Tooi always has a big smile every time we see her and she is such a sweet person and that's why I love her. And she understands it all. My funniest memory from year three was probably all the dancing and all the music we used to listen to and opening up the door and singing to Beauty and the Beast and annoying Miss Hill. It would be um, on the olden day dress up day when um, Mr. Lordy came into the room with a big ruler and slapped it on the table and it was really funny and everyone got scared. My favourite memory was teaching you guys how to dance. I tried, but you did an awesome job. Whoa. We were friends. We were friends. We were all friends. We had good connections. Okay, my favourite memory from Sovereign Hill would definitely have been the eggplant that we had for dinner that one time. Um, no, no, seriously, it was probably dressing up and getting to know all the year fives really well in um, a new environment. It was lots of fun. My favourite highlight of Sovereign Hill was learning how they did their ways in 1980s and 1880s. My advice to Year 6 students going into Year 7 would be to work really hard to have good people around you because the people around you can really affect you and the life that you live and the choices that you make. Definitely learning how to get through a tough circumstance in a tough situation was probably my biggest lesson from online learning. I'm learning about how to get through tough Mrs. Toy always um, used to have a big smile on her face every day we walked in and that's
that's why I look good. Um, this is <laughs> nice. Looking forward, I don't know. I just wanted to say a very special thank you to everyone that was involved in making those clips come together, especially um, Jay's team and Shashank's team that worked really hard on all of the editing. So thank you, movie making team. You've um, created a wonderful video for us to be able to view and see, and just remember all the fun times we've had. I want to now welcome Saron and Alana up to share their summary poem that they've done for you all, and they will be sharing that now. Um, so here's our poem. It's the first day of the year. And everyone's so excited to be here. Seeing brand new faces. When there weren't many coronavirus cases. Suddenly we found that we couldn't be on the school ground. You might question, what does this mean? It means that we were to do school, listening through a screen. So then we said goodbye. And we gave online learning a try. Online learning day by day. We got to have fun on Fabulous Friday. What's Fabulous Friday, you may ask? It's when we got to have a break from the week and not do a very big task. And because we couldn't go to Canberra face to face, the teachers organised something similar, but without going to the actual place. It was called Virtual Canberra Week. What did we do in Virtual Canberra Week, you may question? We did competitions, there were guest speakers, and we did so many Zoom call sessions. I loved learning in French, art, music, library and STEM. We even got new sports shirts with everyone's names on them. It was all super cool. And next term we got to go back to school. It was so exciting to be back with the class. I could scream so loud I would break a glass. Soon after, we held market day. It was so much fun. Hip hip hooray. We brought in our products. And began to sell. And made some money to give to a charity as well. In year six, we had such a blast. Little did we know this year would go by so fast. It isn't over yet. We will have so much fun in high school too, I bet. Thank you everyone for attending our year six 2020 graduation night. We hope you have an amazing time, that's right. So sit back and have fun as you all graduate. Well done. Well done, girls. That was really amazing. Thank you for all your hard work. I have the fun task of telling you all the things that will be happening for the afternoon, some of the boring things and some of the information, so I do need you to listen nice and carefully. So over here, we have a whole heap of food that is just being finalised, and I know that you are looking forward to eating. Over here, on this side, your left, we have a wonderful photo booth. So what is going to happen is 6G are going to take the opportunity to use the photo booth first and then the other two classes are going to get our food packs. So you do need to go out this way, come back in, grab your food pack and then eat it outside instead of inside. So 6G, you're going to line up here. No, sorry, I wasn't clear. In a few moments, you'll go line up and then you guys can take the opportunity to look good for all your photos, pose beautifully, use the balloons, look wonderful, and then everyone else you'll be eating and then we'll switch it up. Now, some of you look really stressed because you're thinking, but Miss Hill, my friends are in the other class. I really want to take a photo with them. Don't worry, you'll have that chance too but we're just gonna make sure we get every single person to get a photo with a friend from their class first. Now, you, it is pretty cool because with this photo booth machine, you do get printouts of your photos. So make sure you choose your friends wisely and you can put them all up on your wall. I think that's all I need to tell you. So let's close our eyes and we'll say grace. 
Hey God, I just want to thank you for a beautiful sunny day. I want to thank you that we've got hungry stomachs and wonderful food to fill it. And we just want to thank you for all your love that you've poured on us. And yeah, just for all of our classmates. Thank you. Amen. Amen. All right. 6G, 6M, 6H. <laughs>
Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the year six graduation afternoon tea. Uh, it is a sweltering 24 degrees outside with a light breeze but perfect conditions for this afternoon's program. You might have noticed if you were watching our program to start with that the atmosphere in here is absolutely electrifying. The students are loving it. I can see the excitement on their faces. They cannot wait to graduate, to move on to the secondary school. Uh, and I can see that they're just so happy to be here, to be surrounded by their friends. So what we're gonna do for a moment, while they're eating their afternoon tea, while they're enjoying the company of their friends, we're gonna go for a little wander, uh, and we're gonna meet some of the students and find out some of their highlights from their time here at Gilson College. Come with me. Ladies, would you like to be interviewed? For the live stream, all right. Live stream. What would you like to, what would you like to say to your mum at home? Oh, hi. We made it through primary school. I love you. We made it through primary school. Yeah, I love you. <laughs> all right, you heard it. We made it through primary school, and we love you. Well, they love you. Yeah. Are you surprised? Are you surprised I made it through primary? We're all proud of you, I think is what your parents will be saying right now. Who's going to share with me what your favourite experience, your highlight experience of the whole of primary school was? Making friends. Who are, you, who are your friends? Them, and then they're also, also my friends. Every single girl in the class. My favourite experience is coming into a new school and making new friends. And learning good things. That can help my, my oh, sorry. I, Okay, so my favourite experience was um, coming back from New Zealand and everyone like coming, running, I was like, ah, hi! I'm like, hi guys, I missed you so much. My favourite experience was when I was um, welcomed by my friends even though I was only gone for three days. Where did you go for three days? I was sick. Oh, <laughs> I hope you didn't have coronavirus. No, ah, good. Oh, good. Awesome. Uh, what are you most looking forward to about high school, about the secondary school? My, my locker and decorating yeah, locker my locker. And decorating our locker. Well, getting my own stationery. Yeah. And getting our own stationery. Decorating your locker yeah. and stationery. You know you can't have like colourful, smelly pencils in, uh, in high school? Yeah, we, will. Yeah, we, will. we will. Are you sure? Well, thank you girls. It's good to uh, chat with you. I'll let you enjoy the uh, afternoon and we're going to find some more groups of friends to go and chat with as well. Have a great year. Hey boys. Gentlemen, gentlemen, where are you going? That's too much pressure. Too much pressure? We've got a few fans online that want to speak with you gentlemen specifically. How are you doing? Introduce yourselves for the camera at home. Hi, I'm Simba Rugube. I'm Jeffrey Bamford, people. Yep. I'm Jackson Chong. Metal. Why are you hiding behind? Step forward, my friend. He's too shy. He's too shy. Okay. Okay, gentlemen. All right. Here's what I want to know. Everybody back home is wondering, who is your favorite teacher? Miss Wallace. Miss Wallace. I don't know. You don't have a favorite teacher? Yeah, I do. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. To be honest, all the teachers are great. Say that one more time so they can hear you back home. To be honest, all the teachers are great. Yeah. We paid them to say that. No, we didn't. But uh, <laughs> we might give you a tip later on for that. Give us money. And, yeah, we'll be all good if you give us the money. We, we don't take things for free. Okay, tell me, gentlemen, before you leave, before you leave, what are you looking forward to the most about secondary school, about high school? Lockers. Lockers? The cake and making food. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just want to go back to this one here. You said cake? You think they get cake in secondary school? No, I think we make cupcakes. Oh, cupcakes in one of your classes. Oh, I like the sound of that. I wonder what we've got for food today, actually. Yeah, definitely. Hey, thank you very much, gentlemen. I'll let you enjoy. What are you showing us here? Me. Look. <laughs> photos. They're called photos from the photo booth and we look very pretty. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> you have to speak up for that audience. This is live to your parents back home. Anything you want to say to your family back home? Um, hello. You're a bit shy now. I saw, instantly I saw your eyes go shy. You're nervous. I didn't know. I thought this was chapel. No, this is not for chapel. Although we could use this for chapel. 
All right, tell me, girls, what's been the best thing about today's afternoon tea so far? The memories on there. I love them. Nice and close in the microphone. I like the memories up there on the, that thing. What's your favourite memory from primary school? The grade two concert. Yeah. Yeah, that one. I saw some of those dancers. They were pretty impressive. Do you remember the songs? Yeah, I can't wait to be king. All right, I can't wait to be king either. I'm already the king around here. <laughs> Tell me, Martha, what was your favourite memory of school? Um, probably year three, because that's when we did the olden day dress up. That's when we, yeah, got on trips. It was one of the best years ever. There was definitely a lot of reactions to the olden day memory before. What was, what stood out so much about the olden day uh, day? Um, there was a lot of strictness from the teachers and when we got in trouble we had to put our nose on the chalkboard but Nirvan he had to look up like this and yeah the teacher was like really funny and stuff. Okay, so tell me then you experienced what it would have been like to learn in the old days and you know what it's like to learn today which would you rather be learning today or way back in the old days? Learning today but for playing um, back then. Yeah. Okay you're getting distracted learning today or in the old days? Today. Today. All right. Easy decision. All right. Thank you, girls. I'll show you your photos to the camera one more time. We might go and get some photos at the photo booth later. All right, I've spotted a few gentlemen over here that look really interesting. They look like they want to be on camera. Gentlemen, this uh, camera right here is beaming live into your parents' homes where they are watching at home. Is there anything you want to say to your parents? Russian mafia. The, <laughs> the food is very nice. Okay, what, what food have you had today? Uh, the f fruit. The fruit. It's too fancy, yeah? You don't know what it's called? Definitely. Okay, I like it. I like it. TVs because my mom's right there. Oh, your mom's right there. Say hi, wave. Wave to the camera, mum. <laughs> it's not streaming to a TV. Oh. Okay, we got something over here from this man. What food are you enjoying today? Um. I'm enjoying the sandwiches, especially the egg ones. Yeah. Yeah. Like I like the egg sandwiches, they're very enjoyable. Hey, tell me mate, what has been your most memorable moment in primary school? Um probably peeing my pants in you too. Oh, okay, that's a memory. Is that a memory you want to forget? That's yes. A memory yes. Okay, and now everybody knows, stream live to parents' homes. <laughs> All right. Hey, you're looking good. You're looking flash today, mate. And high school is ready for you. Girls, did you want to be on camera? Okay. This is streaming live to your parents at home. Introduce yourselves. Say hello to your mum and dad or your family. Hi, mum. Hi. <laughs> Hi, if you're watching. <laughs> so what are you enjoying about today girls? I make it to be with my friends. Awesome. And is there anything that you are most looking forward to about going to high school? My locker. Why is everybody looking forward to a locker? It'll teach me to be organized. Are you not organized at the moment? Nah. Sort of. <laughs> are you organized? Yes. Are you, are you looking forward to a locker as well? Yeah. Yes? I'm looking forward to lunch and recess for food. You get lunch and recess already, don't you? That's the one thing I look forward to. Oh, lunch and recess, that is my favourite meal. Favourite subject at school as well. Okay, girls, how are we doing? Good. Can I ask you a question? You can absolutely ask me a question, but I'm live on camera, so you've got to ask it to the camera as well. Is it still going to be live after? 
Yeah, you'll absolutely be able to watch this online afterwards, I'm pretty sure. I actually don't know. I'm 80% confident, 90% of the time. What are you enjoying about today, girls? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Food. Food. All right, what's the food today? Can you explain it to us? Sandwiches. Sandwiches Jeez. with um, the, the rocky thing. Yeah. yeah. They have some yeah. funky shoes. Mine look better. Mine look better. Awesome. Thank you, girls. I hope you enjoy the photo booth. We'll go get some photos later. I've noticed over here, Mr. Vidal. Oh, ladies, did you want to be on camera? Yeah. You two were the two that did the poem today, weren't you? Did you write the poem yourself? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Really? Do you rhyme like that often? <laughs> yes, sometimes. Sometimes. All right, can you do a little something off the top of the head right now for us? Do a little rhyme. Um, I love food. It makes me in a good mood. <laughs> and one for you? Toss it to you. You'd be good at drama. <laughs> Brilliant. I think you're a little bit shy, a little bit nervous. You know what? You guys did an incredible job up there. I'm sure your parents will be very uh, proud right now. They're watching online. So why don't you give a wave and say something to your parents who are watching online? I love you. <laughs> um, you're the best. Thank you. You heard it. You're the best. We love you. Oh, let's go find out some of the food over here. What about Mr. Lorty? I think it's time to interview some of our teachers. <laughs> All right. Did you just take a mouthful? I did. <laughs> Perfect timing to be here. Uh, tell us a little bit about the food that we have today, Mr. Lordy. Uh, the food is beautiful. I've got the vegan option, so it's missing all the deliciousness of it. So, yeah. Um, I believe that's tofu egg, which is going to be interesting. So uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> tofu egg. Okay. That is very interesting indeed. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Lordy. You have a good day. All right, girls, tell us a little bit about the food that we're eating today. What's going on? Mine's lactose-free, and it's really good. Like, really good. Here. How, was the, how was the photo booth experience? Amazing. <laughs> yeah. yeah it was great. We loved how we got to keep the little um, ticket thingies. Yeah. The juice is really good. The, the juice is good? Uh, show us a little bit of your food. Tell us what the best thing is, uh, or try something out. No, yeah, samosas, I think. I like the fruit and the little spring rolls. I like the rocky bread. I'm getting a little bit hungry watching all of this. Yeah. Well, I'm interviewing for your parents back home. They want to know what you're up to. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's take a sneaky peek at what the photo booth is like and let's have a look at what they're doing in there. Okay, so we're coming live from the photo booth again with a new group of students. Why don't you say hello to your mama home? She's probably not watching this because she's teaching, but if you are, hi mom, I'm having a good time. Don't come, woof, 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 woof. don't come pick me up. Meow. Okay, sounds like we have a barnyard full of animals right now. 
All right, what's been your favorite? Girls, what's been your highlight of today's program? Um, the food. I just the saw the photos. Switches. The photos, the food. The, the memory photos. lane videos. <laughs> Which would you rather see, hands or a nice face? Smile for the camera back home. All right, we'll bring the camera right down here. We've got a couple more students that want to be interviewed. Wave hello to your families back home. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, Mum. I want to know from you, what has been the best highlight, the most memorable moment of your whole primary school? Um, coming back from doing online learning. That's your highlight? Yep. How was online learning? Was it a hard time? Yes. It's so much better to be at school, isn't it? Yeah. Um, probably going back to school. Um, you like that as well? Yeah. Definitely. Um, I would have li liked to go to Canberra, but Virtual Canberra was really fun. Oh, awesome. Virtual Canberra was an, a new experience. You know, nobody had ever done that before at this school. And that's something you can take with you guys. You are pioneers of a new experience. Awesome. What are you most looking forward to about secondary school? Um, maybe making new friends. Um, probably making new friends too. Going on all the camps. Brilliant. And once you get to year nine, there's going to be a lot of awesome camps to go on. Thank you very much, girls. I hope you enjoy the photo booth over there. Oh, gentlemen. I feel like you guys want to be on camera. Yeah, we did. Who's watching this? The people watching this are your family, your parents back home in their living rooms. Hi. Hi. My dad is working. How you doing? <laughs> awesome. Gentlemen, I want to know, this is the question that everyone is itching to know. What is your favourite subject at school? Oh, PE. 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 Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. You're all excited. I know you're happy to be here, but we can't shout at the camera at the same time, okay? Yeah. One at a time. I've heard some PE. What was yours, mate? Maths by far. Maths by far. Interesting. I really enjoyed maths when I was at school. Encounter. Oh, you like the Bible class. Awesome. Um, integrated. Okay, okay. That sounds really intense. Maths. Maths. All right, I like this. And here's a really complex... You said PE, didn't you? Right. Okay. This is a really important question. Okay. I want you to think long and hard about your answer to this question, boys. Who is your favorite chaplain at the school? Pastor Jono. Pastor Jono. Pastor Paul. Yeah. Pastor Paul. Pastor Jono. Pastor Jono. Pastor Gillard. Oh, all right. All right. Uh, I, I promise you. I promise you I haven't uh, teed any of them up to say Pastor John or Pastor Paul. But I'm sure they appreciate Pastor Katie as well. Thank you, gentlemen. Enjoy your photo booth. As long as you, it's open, I can zoom right up in your face. Is that what? I'm allowed to see. Yeah, one is that. One is that. Oh, yeah. I'm busy. Mm. Gotta look good. Okay. Uh, it can, uh, 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 I'll just go. Yeah, man. You need to know. It looks nice. Yes. I'm saving up this light. Mm. How do you want Oh, it's too bright out here. 
Is that a bit right? Yeah. We haven't seen that over here. All right, I found somebody over here. I'm stepping through all of the meals, all the food. How you doing, buddy? Um, good. Do you want to say anything to your family watching at home online? Um, no. Just wave to them. Wave and smile. There we go. You want to come in, AJ? Come on in. But come on, you. You're a captain. You come on in. You, you've got stuff to say. Tell us, mate. Oh. What's going on? How, what's it been like today with the Year 6 graduation afternoon tea? It's okay. okay? Yeah. You enjoying yourself? Yeah. What, what's the best part about the food that you've had today? <laughs> it's all too good. I see it in your eyes. It's all too good. You heard it here first. All right, definitely. Can you tell me one of your most memorable moments? Uh, when someone sneezed on a pig. Oh, wow, okay. Sneezing during coronavirus time. That's not good. They might have to get tested. <laughs> All right. Hey, thanks for the interview, buddy. Can I interview you? Yeah. All right. How you doing, mate? Why don't you introduce yourself and say hello to your family back home that are watching online? Hi, I'm George. And I just want to say, uh, I, I'm really happy to graduate high school, and the food is so good. And in year seven, I hope there are big changes. Yeah. What changes are you looking forward to the most when you get to high school? Hmm. Like, which subjects you get to pick, how your strong suit is, yeah, etc. Yeah, what strong suit do you have when it comes to subjects? Mathematics. Ooh, mathematics. All right, let's do a little bit of maths right now. Uh, two plus two. Four. Four times four? Sixteen. Sixteen divided by sixteen? One. He's smart. He's smart. All right. Thank you very much, mate. Good to interview you. I hope you enjoy your food. All right, we're here with Pastor Katie, one of the uh, key primary chaplains at our school uh, and who the students love the most. How are you doing, Pastor Katie? Good, good. Yep. Uh, what's, been, what's been the highlight of your uh, year with these year sixes? Ooh. Well, sadly not the Canberra trip, um, but I've just been able to... Last year I did Bible studies with a lot of these kids, um, so yeah, I've been able to just get to know them even more this year and hang out with them. They're such a fun group. Um, they're ruthless at uh, handball. <laughs> um, yeah, no, they're great kids. Have so much fun with them. If you've been watching the uh, chapel programs online uh, or while your students, while your children have been at home with you, Pastor Katie was the one working behind the scenes tirelessly, effortlessly every week up till very late to get those made to bring those to right to your living room. So we hope you enjoyed them. Thank you, Pastor Katie, for the great work that you've done. All right, why don't you introduce yourself, say hello to the family at home. Hi, hello. I'm Erica. Hello, hello, hello. hi, hi, hi. Okay, okay, hi. Whoa. All right. Hi. Now I feel... Hi, hi. That's great. Now I feel how the uh, reporters feel at major sporting events. Good to see you guys today, good to see you. I feel great great to hear, great to hear. Thank you. Are you going to give us money? Great. My mum's at work. My mum's at work. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Let's try that again. Introduce yourself. Say hello to your parents at home. Hey, mum and dad. Um, I'm Erica from 6H. Your mum and dad already know who you are. <laughs> hey, mum and dad. I'm Erica. In case you don't remember mum and dad. No, they don't remember me. Oh, okay. What's been uh, the most memorable moment of year six? Probably 
when we go to water gardens in a big group and we go at the, to the food court yeah, and everything. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh, you were, I got in my interview. All right, all right, that's exciting. What are you looking forward to about high school? Um, I just see a bunch of new people. Oh. That'd be great. All right, oh, you'll get your chance. I can. Um, probably making new friends and making new friends. Yeah. And you, are you looking forward to the lockers? Everyone seems to be looking forward to the lockers next year. No, I don't. That is the lock. All right. That's a no to the lockers. That's a first. All right. Thank you very much, Erica. Okay, we're going to come over here. No, I do. How are you doing? Can you introduce yourself to the family at home? We're about to take a photo. Oh, you don't want to be interviewed now? Yeah, we're about to take a photo. We're busy. We're busy. Would you like me to be in your photo with you? No. No. After the photo. Yeah, yeah, go, go. All right, we're going to try and jump in this photo here. No, thank you. We're good. We're good. Oh, come on. Better over there. No, we don't want you in here. The belly button. Is he All right. I found a little huddle here of some very important uh, people. Uh, why don't you introduce yourselves to the parents at home? Who are you and why are you so important today? I'm Miss Muller. I'm one of the Year 6 teachers, as you know. Mrs Goosens. Miss Hill. And Mr Goosens. Brilliant. We have survived online learning, so that makes us very important. Yep. Definitely. You've put on such a great event today. That I can tell the students are absolutely loving it. What are you going to miss about this group moving on and moving into high school? Just their kindness. I think these are such a kind kids and resilient. Same. They're so resilient. They've survived COVID. I just think, wow, what a year. I can't believe they did it. Yeah, I was going to say resilience, but also the fact that they stepped up and just did so much more than any other year six has ever done before. Yeah. They've really come together this last term after being away from each other during lockdown and it's been really beautiful to see such a cohesive cohort. Brilliant. Awesome. Thank you teachers for your words. Wave to the camera and we'll move on to another group of students. Hey Pastor Jono, can we get a photo with you? Absolutely. Come on. Yeah. I've had a request for more photos so we're going to jump down there for the photo booth. Thank you.
I've found a very special guest uh, this afternoon, Mrs. Dalvin. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Anything you want to share with the parents that are watching at home online? I just want to say it's been a real pleasure actually watching your kids grow from prep to six and being able to celebrate today with them and just enjoying their time, seeing them be themselves and celebrate finishing primary school. Yeah. You would have seen quite a few year six groups graduate. What's different about this group specifically? I would say what's different about this group is they're quite creative and they're, they're big but they're still very cute um, and they've got big hearts, definitely big hearts, yeah. Brilliant, awesome, thank you very much. Good to see you, I hope you enjoy the afternoon. Here's an interviewee. You want to be on camera? Sure. All right. Introduce yourself and say hello to your family at home. Hi, my name's Pranav and I'm in graduation. Awesome. Uh, what's been the favourite part about today so far, mate? Uh, playing on the playground. Oh, playing on the playground. Yeah. What are you looking forward to about next year, going to high school? Uh, making new friends. Making new friends, yeah. They don't quite have the same playgrounds out there. You like sport? Oh uh, yeah. What sport do you play? Uh, basketball, cricket, uh, soccer. I've got great news for you. Our secondary students, our high school students love basketball. You'll fit right in. Wave one more time for the camera. Thanks mate. How you doing mate? Introduce yourself. Say hello to the parents at home. Hi parents, um, I'm Mitchell and I'm 6 Yeah, awesome. Okay, what have you enjoyed the most about today? Year 6 graduation afternoon tea? Um, having two periods off. Oh, alright, alright. You don't get much of that in high school. Are you looking forward to high school? Yes. What about it? Uh, everything, I guess. For sure, for sure. Now, you've been, you would have been watching the uh, primary chapels each week, wouldn't, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yep. And recently we've had a superhero segment. Who would you say your favourite uh, superhero from primary chapel is? Kiwi Man. Kiwi Man. Oh, and why do you like Kiwi Man? Funny. Funny. Uh, I like that. So if you haven't been watching, make sure you ask your child when they come home who their favourite superhero is from primary chapel. They might say Plant Man, they might say Citizen X, or hopefully they'll say Kiwi Man himself. Or the cameraman. Maybe the cameraman. <laughs> awesome. Hey, thanks for interviewing, mate. Enjoy your day. Alright. I want to know, who's your favourite teacher? Uh, Mr. Alan Gapman. Really? And why is that? Because he teaches me a lot of stuff. Last year he taught me a lot of life lessons and stuff. A lot of life lessons. Alright, very, very good, very good. And your favourite subject? Um, music. Music? Do you play an instrument? I play guitar. Do you play guitar? Well, what songs can you play on guitar? Um, I can play Stairway to Heaven, Knocking on Heaven's Door, um, anything by Led Zeppelin to be honest. Wow, some of the old classics then. Mm -hmm. Yep. And what are you what are you looking forward to the most about high school? 
Um, meeting new people, having um, more fun, and learning more about yourself and who you want to be when you grow up. So brilliant, awesome. Hey, where, where do you want them? Where do you want to go with the music? Where do you think that'll take you one day? Um, maybe I'll be a guitarist in a band when I grow up. Um, but now I'm just trying to. I'm gonna start to busk on the holidays. So. Brilliant. I hope to see you out there busking then. Hey, are you staying at Gilson College for high school? Yep. We might have to get you in the uh, secondary chapel band then. Ooh. That could be good. Yeah, I'd like to do that. Brilliant. Awesome, mate. You enjoy the afternoon. Do you want to say something to the TV? No? <laughs> hey, hey. Boys, I saw a game of rock, paper, scissors going on over here. What's happening? We, we need to decide who gets the photo. Oh, you're deciding who gets to keep the photo. Yeah. Do you want to play a game of rock, paper, scissors with me? Okay. Sure. Yep. And what do I get if I beat you, if I win? Nothing. Nothing. How about a high five? And if you win, uh, you get a high five. Okay, cool. Okay. Right. One more time. One more time, one more time. I'm not good at this game. You read my mind. All right, I bet I can beat you though. Yes, I am the champion, my friend. Thank you, mate. All right, if you come over here with me, You'll notice we're looking at some interesting bags here. These look to be some sort of a gift that the students will be bringing home with them today. I really like the look of it. We have a graduation teddy bear and some cookies. So that'll be exciting. Okay, uh, you interrupted me a few times before. It looked like you really wanted to uh, get onto the camera. So why don't you say, what do you want to say to your family watching at home? She's kebab. Okay, something about kebabs. Oh, that's it. I was told, I, I was told you wanted an interview. Yes. Yes. What's your, uh, who's your favorite teacher at school? Miss Andrews. And why is that? I like her. Okay, and your favourite uh, subject? Probably sport. Probably, probably sport, okay. Are you going to take over? Do you want to interview other people? Sure. All right, go for it. Sinead, Sinead. Interview, interview. What's your name? I don't know. Sinead, Sinead. It's on Facebook. It's on Facebook. It's on Facebook. It's on Facebook. How old are you? Three. 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 What is your favourite thing? My dog. My dog. Your dog. Why? I don't like dogs. No, I don't My dog died. I don't <laughs> JK, I never had a dog. <laughs> um, um, I like it. 
Uh, are you okay? Alright uh, guys, it's my turn. It's my turn. Mm -hmm. What's your dream job? Um, being a professional eater. Professional eater? What is your dream job? Um, anime watcher. Ah! Uh, I love anime, so animator. Animator. Let's come over here. Interview. Who are you? I didn't ask. Uh, let's go to this. One of a very good person. Janice. Um, Janice, you want to say hi? Hi. This is a very nice person. Test, test, oh, one, two. Oh, oh. Hello, everyone. If you can please have a seat for our okay. next we have to event. Go. Have a seat, please. Have a seat, please. Thank you. Have a seat, make sure you can see the screen. Okay, everyone, please have a seat and turn your voices off. Okay, everyone, thank you for rejoining us. I'll just ask you to turn your voices off, please. All right, I hope you enjoyed your lunch. We are coming towards the end of our graduation celebration. One tradition we have is to look at our baby photos. And although today, as graduating year six students all dressed up, you, you are starting to look like adults, there was a time when you were a little baby and we're going to reflect on that moment today. Please feel free to guess who you think the baby is as you see each photo. Enjoy. You got a friend in me. You got a 
got trouble, and I got them too. There isn't anything we wouldn't do for you. We stick together, see it through, 'cause you got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. Some other folks might be a little bit smarter than I am, big and stronger too. Maybe, but none of them will ever love you the way I do. It's me and you, boy. And as the years go by, our friendship will never die. You're gonna see it's our destiny. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. Let's dance a song that stands for a while. Heaven can wait, we're only watching the skies, hoping for the best, but expecting the worst. Are you gonna drop the bomb or not?
to where you find me, oh, somewhere over the rainbow, bluebirds fly, and the dream that you did to, oh, why, oh, why can't I? Hi, Grade 6, with parents and friends we're representing. Uh, we have put something together for all of you, seeing that you've had a real challenging year. And good on you, all of you, for your resilience and effort. Well done. What we've put together for you, uh, a couple of cookies in here, and a graduation bear, which you can have your friends sign. And we see the bear's not that big. But what we've also added in here for you is the autograph book. Okay, so get all your friends to sign that for you. And of course, maybe today you won't get to do that, but you've got the next tomorrow and next week as well. All right, so that's just a little gift from us. And also, thank you. And also, the teachers and teachers' aides, we haven't forgotten about you. Thank you so much. We've also got a little pack for you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right. It has come to the end of our graduation celebration time. And I just wanted to just take a moment as we close, just to thank you all for such an amazing year from all the year six teachers. Um, we have loved having you in our classes, in our classrooms and on our computers online for the other half of the year, but we have really enjoyed just teaching you and seeing you grow mostly. It's been such a great year to see you grow, do things that no other year sixes have ever, ever done before and just pioneered through so much. So congratulations, and we look forward to seeing your futures. Don't be shy, come and say hello, and tell us what you've been up to. And especially when you're in high school and you walk past us, don't be a stranger. So as we pack up and leave this afternoon, um, just make sure you follow a few simple instructions. That is, some of you have got your food that you're taking home with you that you didn't finish. If you have collected yours, and I can see a couple of people have theirs, just make sure you take them with you, put them in your bags and enjoy those. Um, we want to say a special thank you to Mrs. Cowlett and the Year 11 students for preparing all of those. Let's give them a little clap. <laughs> They did an amazing job and it was so delicious. Um, also, so good to see many of you taking photos in the photo booth. It was great to have that addition to our graduation now. Um, just a few last thank yous. Besides, we've got our year six teachers for an amazing job um, for just the year of teaching, but also for this graduation celebration with all of the leadership that have been helping um, set this up and make this possible. We just want to give them a huge clap and all of our sound crew, everyone that's made this possible, let's give them a clap. <laughs> all right. Thank you to everyone that was involved today, especially you students as you put in towards your graduation today as well. We look forward to seeing your futures. As you leave, you need to remember to take your school bag, which are on the court, so make sure you go that way before heading out today. Um, we are going to, of course, hand out the gifts before you leave, so we'll do that in an orderly fashion, class by class. Um, and once you've got your gift, 
then you may make sure your area is clean before heading out to grab your bag and then heading out the front to go home. Um, excellent. So we're going to start that now. So just before we do, we're just going to say one last thing. Miss Thomas would also, as we're packed, packing up, love the captains very quickly, just quietly stand captains and you can just stand over on the side with Miss Thomas because she needs you for um, something. We're just going to say a very quick prayer. All right, before we finish our evening, um, please bow your heads and close your eyes. Dear Lord, thank you for an amazing graduation celebration. It was amazing to see so many smiles and such fun being had here as the year sixes celebrated just the year that they've had and their experience in primary school, reflecting back, thinking back and just the journey that they've been on. I just pray that you continue to guide them, be with them as they enter high school next year and be with them wherever they may go. Thank you for all the blessings you give them and please just be with them and their families that they represent um, in their futures. In your name, amen. amen. All right, so to do our gifts and then our exit, um, let's do this in an orderly fashion. We have... Oh, can first, captains, quietly grab your gift and then follow Miss Thomas. Um, bus people can quietly stand up. Everyone else, stay seated. Stay seated unless you're a bus or a captain. Once you've got your gift, just head straight out. Thank you, bus and captains. All right, can we have 6H, 6H, stand up. 6H, sit down, 6G, 6H, stand up and grab your gifts. Only 6H. 6G, go behind them. 6G can stand up. And 6M. Up we grab our gifts. Have a lovely afternoon. You guys are awesome. Bring them back tomorrow or Monday to get them signed. See you for fun day tomorrow. Yay!